Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 A Heart of Darkness as Communist South Africa. So, something you might have noticed is that we're getting a lot less time done between episodes. That is because as the game progresses it becomes slower like every Paradox game because it has more to process, more nations, more rebels, more parties, more trade goods. It just can't really handle that. I mean, when the games come out, like Crusader Kings, they are usually very slow and computers are well slower. This game is actually pretty old, so it's actually running very, very good for a Paradox game because we have a lot more computer power than what they're used to. So there's still some wars going on. The UK is losing this war, Germany is probably going to win this. Once they, well, send their troops towards, uh, uh, what do you call it, towards France anyway. Oh, I hear another naval base. In Umtata. It's over here. Immediately expand it and we can also build some more railroads over here. Which have given us enough points to build another Dreadnought. Which we will queue up. No. Not enough points to build another Dreadnought. Nah, we'll just wait till this one is finished. Doesn't matter. We can only build one at a time at the moment because our port level is only really high enough in Cape Town. You need a level 5 naval base to build dreadnoughts. Uh, let's get... I don't know. Tax efficiency is probably a good thing. Let's get that. So how are our rebels? We have Transvali nationalists, Nadi nationalists, all kind of nationalists, but... You, you are actually like, I don't know, civilized people, but you're not creating any flashpoint tension. None of this is. You can't have a flashpoint, okay. I guess you can't. Ooh, railroads in Abu Dhabi. Gonna have to get them up again. So, for the past three episodes now, we're just slowly watching these Zulu rebels occupying Zulu. And I think that will be their undoing. We're just waiting till their capital gets occupied and once their capital is occupied we have to wait another few months, just like what happened with us. And we will be able to... Ooh, the UK accepted a peace deal against Italy, I think. Humiliate the unique K, alright. So Italy won a war against the UK, which cost them a lot of prestige. Oh, excellent. Venezuela. Can we attack Venezuela? Oh, we could. Could go a war to war against Venezuela. They have barely any troops. They're not protected by anyone, I think. Nope. Eh, what's the point? No, what are we, uh, allowed to do? Repay depths. We would achieve some prestige for it. You know what? What's the worst that can happen? They didn't pay us back, so... 
We'll get the fleet and make them pay. See, we can only fit seven units on there, so let's get the Hussar. Some of the guards. So we have four, we can have one more in artillery. Get this one. Actually, get a leader going. We need another leader. Get two more. You, no, not you. You. Get you. Get you on the boat. And get you all the way over here. We'll just occupy their capital and it will probably be fine. Can we get naval access? Yes, we can. Alright. Ooh. Another dreadnought finishes. The Cecil Rhodes. Nice. He was of course a very important man, Sir Cecil Rhodes, in colonial uh, or colonial Africa history and British history in general. It's uh, where the country of uh, uh, Zimbab Zimbabwe here was formerly called uh, Rhodesia. The country of Rhodesia was named after Sir Cecil Rhodes. So our fleet is just crossing the Atlantic. We only need like 2% or something to get this done. Oh wait, did Germany win? No, they did a white peace thing. Eh, boring. We're still making 2,000 pounds a day. I think that was a Venezuelan ship. I didn't see where it went. Oh well, we have the Dreadnought at home. They basically can't do anything. Liberia has gone bankrupt. We can't attack Liberia, they're a puppet of the United States. Oh, whoa, that went fast. We sank the Venezuelan fleet, I think, totally. They had a man of war or something like that. A frigate and a transport. We lost, of course, nothing. the army over here oh wow <laughs> actually let's not dump the army over here our blockade uh, wow 17% from blockades yeah repay your debts we don't have enough money to Actually, uh, or if enough money, we have enough money. We don't have enough jingoism to create more demands. First Cape Town Mail. Hmm. It's too bad that we can't actually see what kind of ships they were. Stormtrooper training. Ah, I like it. Right, so we need another 18 points to build another Dreadnought and we can't actually get it from deleting any ships. We could get 15 from deleting our Commerce Raiders, Iron Clots and Monitors, but that's not enough. And I don't want to get rid of my Steam Transport, we need them. And the battleships are pretty good, so I'm going to keep them for now. We'll go to a pure uh, 
pure dreadnought fleet in the late game. How are the factories doing? Pretty well. This one is almost full, but I might actually uh, want to start another factory here. Once we have the ability to do so, I want to build a tank factory somewhere. Uh, let's see, no population. This one, technology. We need tank experiments. We're just waiting for that. So the Zulu uh, rebellion is actually pretty crap. Oh wow, something just happened. The Jacobin Rebels. Let's see. What are those Jacobin Rebels about? I didn't expect that. Those are a lot of Rebels. They strive for the inclusion of a broader stratus of population in the government of the nation in an absolute monarchy. They will try to impose a constitutional monarchy, whereas they in all other cases seek to establish a democracy. Democracy. I don't want a democracy. You go rebel hunting. You. Uh, let's see if they all have the right generals though. You have the right general. Defense. No, I don't actually want a defense general. Need one with more attack. You are awful. You are pretty good. Let's resign you. And let's get you over here. There we go. Now they're all over here, right? And the biggest stick is 20. There are none of them over here and none over here, I think. No, so we're fine. They have rebels though. They have... Just rebels, I don't know. War justification is increasing them. Hmm. I'm not sure what's happening. Anyway, we are dealing with our rebels. Oh, there's a 38 stack. Not afraid though, we have way better tech than them. I think. I don't think they spawn with any tech. And they don't have any cannons or anything like that either. Don't need that. Don't really need that. I'll take this one though. So... No, they don't have any cannons. Which makes us so much better. Not even funny. 900, that's 12,000 killed. There, 2,000 killed, 14,000. You're actually going for that 50 stack? Are you going to win though? Because they don't have any cannons. Again, you need artillery for an effective army. Yeah, they just got annihilated. 50,000 deaths against 3,000 of us. If you know how to create armies, basically rebels are not a problem. They're big enough though. Uh, with the announcements of a host nation, the International Olympic Committee has sent invitation to its members to attend the game. So basically there is France, Japan, Denmark, Germany, Portugal, Spain, the Ottoman Empire and us. We are the Olympic Games. 
Yes, of course we will go. Now let's just uh, watch how our armies are swiftly dealing with these rebels. Oh, and they got even more attack. We actually don't have to keep our naval maintenance up that high. This is costing us a lot of mom power though. But we need it. I mean, what is a democracy really? People aren't really free in a democracy. They're only free if they have healthcare and good things for them. The state knows better. People are dumb and animals. They're sheep. They'll follow anything, any demagogue. They need a stern hand and a, a father figure, a father state, so you will. There we go. Another naval base in Dubai. immediately expand our naval base over here go back over here and we will be able to build another dreadnought no we can't let's see we have a naval supply of 299 our naval supply is 333 and we need 26 more Hmm. No, that's too much. Can't get it. Are you? Yes, you are moving in position. This was a big uprising. Like 700,000 rebels. And our 60,000 troops defeated them. E nitroglycerin. You see? That happens when you don't listen to the state. When the, the Bolsheviks are uh, trying to reimpose their bourgeoisie ideals and prevent our uh, glorious communist revolution. Oh, I just messed up. I didn't mean Bolshevik. Bolshevism is good. It's the, the bourgeoisie and the, the decadent capitalists who are uh, trying to undermine our revolution. They're telling lies. I tell you, lies. In the meantime, our factories are still making a lot of money. Another naval base. And this time we just have enough. Like exactly enough. It got building Sir, which is in Oman. We'll expand it to level 5. Ooh, that's a high one. So the Zulus are doing their best. It's going very, very slowly. But hey, can't have everything. Of course, that is our goal. We want everything. We can build some more roads here. Ooh, some of our athletes who competed at the recent Olympic Games have been victorious, returned home with medals of gold, silver and bronze. Glory to the youth of our nation. Excellent. Very nice. Let's set a new research. It's not 1914 yet. Uh, don't really want this. Don't really need all this. I'm not fighting any real naval battles, I'm just using them for score and prestige and stuff. Get bold action rifles. We want this. 
because it leads into our netics. Activate airplanes. Ooh, another crisis in Bulgaria. Let's see what's up. First, let's build a railroad over here. Uh, so, crisis in Bulgaria. It's the UK along with the Ottoman Empire against Bulgaria. Yeah, so it will be Germany and Italy against the UK, France and Russia. Well then. Where have we heard that before? That's actually pretty funny. If that's actually going to happen. <laughs> Korea has gone bankrupt. Going to war with Korea? Probably not. They probably have... Yeah, they're in... Oh, they're in the same sphere as us. We can't even go to war with Korea. More railroads. Oh, in Tahiti. We can build another one in Tahiti, I think. There we go. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Back to South Africa. There are actually Jacobins in the army. Ugh. Dirty, dirty, democracy-loving Jacobins. Here they go again. How many this time? Well, less of them. 66 brigades. That's double. That's double our army. Not going to win though. We're going to crush them. It's another 15,000 dead, another 3,000. Another 18,000, another 3,000. Uh, what I'm doing, by the way, I'm not directing this myself. These armies have a rebel hunting mode, which means that they automatically go around and kill rebels and then return to their uh, normal habitat, to say. Ah! They occupied Ulundi, which means that in a few months, their government will fall. Anyway, we yet again have rebels, but I will take a little break here and I'll see you all next episode. Bye bye.